Oh, it's real simple. You just got to know when to walk away. Uh, don't get frustrated. Uh, enjoy yourself. Enjoy doing it with your family if you're doing it. That's the most important thing. I'm here with James, who is strapping everything down and getting ready to hit the road after spending a couple of weeks helping out with the carpentry. He's just doing an absolutely fantastic job. But as we wind down to just a few last things, you know, the itchy feet sometimes kick in and uh, he's about to hit the road. But before he does, I wanted to show you his rig because he has a schoolie that he's been working on for over a year that just came out absolutely fantastic. And I'd, I'd like to get some of his thoughts on uh, what he did, how he made it come together so well. And with that, I present to you, James. How's it going? Hey, that's my shuttle bus, the old five window schoolie. Uh, I call her Tex. I don't have her name on there, but that was my mother's name, so that's who she's called. I did everything but the welding on the back porch there, and uh, if you like to come over here, I'll show you the back porch. Uh, it's good to have neighbors that weld, so he uh, took care of all that for me, and I put back up lights, welded then, bolted a hitch to it. Connected the lights up to the beeper that I took off very quickly. Set it all up with LED lights. Got a generator on it. Go on the other side. We'll uh, go inside and let you see that. Looks like you got a water receptacle here you mounted to fill yeah. up a water tank. It's got a 25 gallon tank with the pump in it. Because of Jamie, straight and simple, I want to tell you, if you need something done solar, he's the man and you know it. I mean, he kicked it out and two and a half days. I'm very happy with he, what he does. I can go in there now and flip the pump on, flip the lights on, and I've got lights. So if you need any solar done, I'm telling you, he can do it. Um, but uh, it's got a 25 gallon tank with the pumps in it. I uh, ran all the lights and electrical, and Jamie finished all that up, and uh, even connected a few couple other things for me uh, so I can charge off my battery charger which I got the same one he did because it looks like it's going to do exactly what I want it to. Got electrical on the other side so when I plugged the generator in like this morning we didn't think we were going to get any sun. Had the generator running for about an hour. Jamie set that up to do that and within the hour the sun popped out so we're going good with the sun right now. He saw what I did, fixed a few things so uh, let's go inside and see what we got. Let's start with this door. You know, I have a traditional school bus door on mine, and a lot of folks do, but uh, this is way nicer. Did it fit right when you, in the same frame that the original doors were? I, I had seen it on Marketplace. A guy had a bunch of stuff for uh, travel trailers. We went our, on our first shakedown cruise to uh, Texas. On the way back, we went through, he's just outside of Little Rock. So we picked the door out and we brought it. I, of course, didn't want to pay for it till we brought it up to it and we put it right to it and it slid in there just slicker than anything. What uh, does something like that run if people are in the market, just to give them an idea, if you don't mind me asking? He had used and new for 150 bucks. I was not going to walk away from a new trailer door. Came and out nice, man. I think that's worth it. Like I say, it, it fit in there perfectly. It had the old foggy uh, windows in it and I got it from Leapert and put the shades and the windows in it. I'm happy with it. It was very simple to do. I've seen some buses have to fight and re-weld re and I had to uh, cut some of the parts off the original doors but other than that I've still got to fix the bottom but it's all sealed up. And, but other than that it went in better than you could dream. So. Shall we take a look inside? Sure. So everybody and their mothers always talking about uh, not knowing to do what to do with this face after they take all their equipment and everything out from the uh, original doors. So I just built a, a shoe box, a junk spot, and. Uh, I'm not all that great with electrical, so I just left it alone. 
But you moved it though. That, that usually it. sits on a little pedestal. Right. I took the pedestal <clears throat> and all the brackets and braces out. And, uh, that was my first run. It never squeaked, squealed, or moaned. So I guess I did it right. You have storage underneath. You got storage all the way from the uh, floorboard back there for stuff I don't normally use. Uh, in something like this, every little bit helps in the concept of storage. That's usually an empty spot, spot where people on the just bus throw and look at what you've done with it. Good, and, uh, good idea. Then I did my favorite. This is something I love. I really enjoyed doing it, and uh, it turned out beautiful. It took me about two weeks to get that countertop done. Four coats of. Uh, epoxy and then I sanded each coat off and then the fifth coat was a pure uh, liquid pour and uh, it came out beautiful. When you say epoxy I think of the kind you mix the two together and it's like a little small pool of it. How, uh, what are you talking about? You go to the hardware store and buy a can of epoxy some, it just says epoxy on it? Some people have used that but uh, I used Stone Cold countertops I went to their page and uh, uh, looked it up and watched a lot of their videos. This here was done with their uh, concept. They send you a kit and it's got all different types of colors. And I tried that just to see how it would do. And it, again, turned out beautiful. So this chair turns around. What kind of chair is this you were telling it's me? It's a flex steel. It came out of an RV. And I've got it very tight. But, oh, Savannah loves it. Every time she comes in, she sits. It turns all the way around, then it locks to the forward position, but then it swings around so I can do double duty with it as the table. Okay. And then the table, it was just an old coffee table my mother had gathering dust. So I just sanded her down and took everything but the good thing is the uh, table will slide down and get out of the way I've got all that junk down there so you can't do it but it works great if you just want to kick back and relax and uh, have the table out of your way but she tightens up and of course put the cabinets and everything in I just did this just before I left and that's been a lifesaver what's that the shelf the top shelf the shelf Put and you put your own screens the, in talking about windows, yeah? Right. You, you just went and got the materials and cut them to fit the and made it yourself? materials from Home Depot and did it just like you'd regularly do it. And it's been great. No bugs have come in unless I've had the door on, so. And they're just being held in place by some little aluminum uh, clips that screw into the outside? Right. So I connected this cabinet to the top and built a, uh, what I felt was going to be my closet, but it's become my wonderful solar spot. It looks like there's still a lot of room in here. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I'll be okay. Uh, I was thinking about maybe just dropping to where I could put shirts and everything hidden there and it wouldn't hit any of the solar and then just come down and not be in anything's way and bring it out a little bit. It'll be utilized. But it's fine, you can do put fabric up against it. It's just the yeah. solar controllers get hot in the heat of the summer when they're really mm -hmm pulling in. Amps, just a quick word about the solar. James had picked up some solar panels that were 41 volts, uh, putting out about 30 amps at 12 volts. And so we were able to use number 10 wire, 30 amp rating on that. We used number uh, 30 amp breakers, both on the PV side and the battery side. So the way we got around 60 amps going into a system is we just installed a solar controller for each individual panel. So he's putting out a maximum of 60 amps going into his battery bank under optimum sun conditions. And he's got the, the pure sine wave inverter. That is, I don't know what that name is, but you can see it right there. It's been doing. And we just went in with a plug to light up all of his outlets there. I put some Romex in with a male plug on it. And right now he's getting 13.6 uh, volts and that's with the uh, refrigerator running at this moment I can hear it I don't know if it's getting picked up on the mic 
And I got the, went ahead and built my bed. The bed does turn into a couch. All you got to do is pull the back part up and uh, storage underneath it with my water tank. And that's another storage area. I didn't need the whole thing for the bed. So that makes for a good storage. And where Jamie's sitting now is storage under that wheel well. I'll get up and show that so, again. And that's just pure and simple. Easy to do storage. When I first saw that, I thought that was your composting toilet. That would be a good deal, but get the sheets and blankets and everything out of the way. Got and that's some, just a boat seat. Where'd you get the seat? I just put the boat seat in for now. Um, somebody was selling it off Facebook and it worked. I've got another one to put in it later. Then I put the wood floor in. What kind of wood floor is this? It's just that pergo. Okay. Very simple to put in, very easy to do. Did and, you uh, put the floor in uh, first and then the rest of the build, or did you put no, it in last? No, I, I did all of the build before I put anything in. The area that I knew I would have the flooring in, I planed down the uh, original wood so it would be nice and smooth. I wouldn't have any loopy loos or anything in it. I'm happy with it. It cleans up nice. Tell me about these cabinets. Where did you get them? Um, they were... Um, about, what, about what do they run if people are trying to figure out a budget oh, for their build? If you're buying these cabinets or pre-made cabinets, they were <laughs> running 150 to uh, 200 depending on which one you want. I found a guy that was selling them for 30 bucks each. It's a bus. It all works. I'm happy with it. It looks so. great. Are you kidding? Yeah. And then uh, Jamie had uh, reviewed this cooler at one time and I really liked it and the size of it was perfect for uh, what I wanted to do. I still have one side for storage and one side for the cooler and then just built a, a pull out for it. Get what I need, slap her back in, tie her back down when I'm getting ready to go. That's the extreme power. At the time I did the re review they ran about three hundred dollars. Do you remember what you paid for yours? It was about two ninety-seven. And then you can set it both on the top plate or with an app that syncs from your phone. And that's about it. I'm real happy with it. I've enjoyed doing it. I really enjoyed coming and helping Jamie out in anything I could do. For folks looking to take on a build like this, what tools would you say were must-haves for you to do this the way it came out? grinder the first thing you're going to do is want to take your seats out and you're going to need that grinder table saw saber saw a little bit of woodwork helps if you have a neighbor that does woodwork or welds or i was able to do everything i just took my time and what advice would you give to someone that you've learned through this experience if they're looking to take on a build like this incorporate your kids into all of this i had a neighbor across the street and you couldn't keep him away from it and he just really enjoyed learning how to do stuff and uh just enjoy with your family and have fun learn everything that you do if you have problems you're going to know how to fix it but if you do need a professional, you need to go out and get it and make sure he explains any and all and everything to you. So when something does happen, you'll at least know how to fix it. I think that's great advice for building one of these out. What would you like to add for someone that might be watching this at home and maybe they're in a house, a, a trailer, a apartment, and they're thinking about getting a rig, whether it be a van, a school bus, a shuttle bus, a box truck, whatever, and heading out into the traveling lifestyle, what advice would you give them? They're watching this right now. Do your research. Pay attention to what you're doing, what people have, what type of motors they have. Um, you can go online on YouTube. That's how I found Jamie and, and Wonder Boom and... Uh, Jack's Austin. Badge and Jacks Austin and uh, they're the people that taught me navigation nowhere 
he's building a shorty bus right now um, and Jamie's been doing this bus they all have good information and you need to listen to them they've done it two three four times in their life that's why they have a YouTube channel that's why they know what they're talking about uh, I didn't want anybody but Jamie to do my solar because of what I had seen he done and cared for and as you can see he put name tags on for me not not just anybody will do that for you but do your research decide what vehicle is going to work for you you know uh, decide if you want a gas I it's took a year to find this bus and once I found it and once I was on the road I was totally happy with it um, it's perfect for me how did you find the bus uh, it was on eBay a found lot of us on eBay a lot of people don't want to do eBay and everything but I just felt comfortable the guy had no problem sending me all kinds of pictures and uh, told me everything and he didn't lie to me and I'm looking forward to doing it again or helping other people I have had a wonderful time meeting Jamie and Mac and their dog Savannah I've seen on video so many times and just getting to know them as a person and having fun well we sure have enjoyed having you what did you guys to see the rig and and meet James before he turns the key and is off to new adventures thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the road the both of us you bet see ya